Hello, this is the Rocket Poop, here to show you a tutorial on how to render your annotations in Blender. So if you're like me, you'd probably want looking for a software uh, to brainstorm your ideas on, and you didn't want to use your MS Paint or Notepad, and you don't want to dish out abundance of cash that you don't probably don't have on a software that you don't, you know, do one simple thing is basically just doodle the, you know, doodle your ideas on and with infinite, nearly infinite canvas. And if you weren't like an idiot, if you weren't an idiot like me, you'd realize you already have a software like that. A pretty good, damn good one too. It's called Blender and it's free and open source and it's a, it's a all-in-one productivity suite. Great for a uh, any kind of content creators, especially if you're new and you're starting out, you know, you won't have a lot of, you know, a lot of money to throw on the like, expensive software. You got a fucking blender. You got like 3D, anim from 3D, 3D modeling animations to, uh, even 2D animations now. And you can fucking video edit and shit like that. So, uh, but I'm just here to show you how to render your annotations. Cause let's say you have, you know, like if you were like, if you weren't anal like me or an idiot, you could probably go new to a do uh, new create a uh, create a new a new to the animation, which will have everything set up for you, so it will look like a traditional video I mean image editor, you know like like a um like a pseudo uh, canvas, which is actually just a camera with the uh, region outside the camera range dim like shaded a bit, so you can actually see the, where your uh, things will be drawn because since it's not like a actual video editor I mean image editor you'll um their things will only will only render the things in the camera or in your um viewport I mean basically I'm just we're just gonna um basically render your annotations out like if you want to do your ideas of reference or something you don't really need anything fancy like materials or lighting and shit like that just fucking delete everything and draw the animations and you know render on your uh and then just run it a view port, but you realize there's nothing on there because because annotations are just drawn in space, just you know, used for note, uh, you know, doodling ideas when you're modeling or stuff like that. But there is a way to actually run do there's a way to render them, and that is simple enough. I mean, much more simple than anyway. Let's just, just press F, you can just press F3 and convert it to annotations. Let I me mean, convert it to a grease pencil. That's my bad. But so let's say you have an idea already drawn out, boom, and you want that really great uh, um, idea out there. You know, you want to keep opening your blender just to see the reference. So um, basically, with F3, and we'll come and just um, look for convert grease pencils. But if you like, notice if you uh, you, just, you click right there too instead of searching, and it'll convert every well. It'll convert um at least most of the uh, annotations you've drawn. I don't know about the other one, like surface or whatever. Well, no, not here. Like placements, views, different um. I'll just leave it the cursor, for, you know. But at least render all the ones that you've drawn with the three D cursor. Convert it to a grease pencil. But you can if you render it right now, there's no camera. So if you render it with the camera, with the actual rendering, you'll just will be uh you won't see the orange line because the orange is just me. Because it's selected. If I deselect it, you'll notice it's it's it's, uh, it's there, just really thin. If you run out the viewport, uh, you'll you won't see it. But and if you run out, if you select it, you can see even the selection uh, highlight. But it won't show up in the actual rendering. The viewport rendering is just you know so you can like, do like, a quick preview. It does not not really like um real time uh, rendering. But you can like also change the um, way it's you can like um. Just the way it's shading, the viewport is shading, like, you know, it looks just press Z, solid, rendered, and material preview, but I just keep it solid. So, but you want to, anyway, if you want to change the uh, colors and stuff, you go to here, uh, objects, one of the object properties things, boop, boop, forgot which one, oh, I just I forgot which one it is, shit. Uh, what? It's, oh, there we go. The object data properties. Uh, you go to adjustments. You can choose the color and this thickness, which is all the way to max. And uh, uh, for, and then the factor is basically how much uh, influence the uh, tint color has on the uh, on the uh, grease pencil. So if you want to change the color, just set it to max or whatever you want. I always go to max anyway. I always like mine blue. Uh, and, uh, let's see. 
and it's blue. Boop. With the light blue. Bam. And if you render it now, you can it'll show up on the on the viewport render. Boom. Oh, but uh, it's a little cut off right there. You gotta make sure you can see everything uh, around the image. Boom. Of course, you can increase the viewport size so you can find a bigger image. I'm gonna save that image. Uh, to save as. I'm gonna save it on my desktop so I can find it easily. I'm gonna save it's a good idea. I mean, I didn't know. I didn't have a failed uh, shitty recording before. I save image and go to the desktop. Boom! It's right there. You open it up. You open it up. Boom! There you go. Now you now you can share your wonderful idea to the world as an image format, so they don't have to open Blender each time they want to look at it. And uh, thanks for watching. Please sub. But no, I don't. You don't stop. But like, I don't give a shit. I mean, if you like it, like it. I mean, just like it. You know, genuinely like it. Just press like. Uh, and uh, hope you have fun uh, brainstorming with Blender. Thanks. Ciao.